I'm so excited, you guys. Hi, how you doing today? So we have these lovely gifts for the grandchildren. That's you guys. Mm -hmm. And when you open the box, which I'm sure you already opened because you're getting these. It's a crocodile! Oh, no, it's not. It's a ukulele. What she said, yeah, ukulele. There you go. Cool. Cool. And this is so that you guys can start experiencing music and having fun playing like we do. No, wait, no, that's not how you play them. <laughs> Although you can, don't ever be afraid to be a percussionist. It's a ukulele or an ukulele, depending on uh, on how particular you want to get. Um, the, the point, these are called tuning pegs. This is what you tune it with. Why is tuning important? Well, if you don't tune, if, if they aren't all tuned to the same pitches, it's going to sound weird when you're trying to play with somebody else, and you're going to go, Ew, you sound bad. And they're going to go, no, you sound bad. And you're going to go, no. The real problem is you're not in tune. So I think, are you are you in tune? I'm in tune? in tune. I have a C. Uh, give me that, that top one. And so much they sound like not in tune. I'll go ahead. Are ready? This is why you tune. This is how you fix that is so they sound a little more together in tune. <laughs> but your parents are gonna download a tuning app for you guys so that you can do this yourself. And the strings are G. G being the one closest to your chin. And those, of course, are letters of the alphabet. And the way you make a song is by having different chords. And these chords have names like A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Um, and the way you make the chords, once you have it in tune, is they're color-coded. So on here you can see there's different arrows and they're different colors. Well, that's it. You just cover them up with your fingers, like the green one, green, green. And the little piece side, put your fingers down. That's a G chord. And then the one, there's a red one, that's the easy one, that's a C chord. I would use that third finger because it's going to be easier for the other chords. And then there's an F chord yellow one. So we're just going to use the yellow, the green, and the red for this first song. And there's a whole bunch of different songs which use just those three chords, C, F, and G. So you could start off with um, a C chord. Just put this finger, your ring finger, third finger, on a red. And then cover the two yellow ones. Cover the green ones, and that's a G chord. You can probably already hear that sounds a lot better because we're in tune. They're both playing the same note, so it's going to sound good when we play a song like um, a couple of simple songs. Is oh, here's one you probably know though. She'll be coming around. When you're first learning, you want to go slower than that, but that's what you're getting up to, and it's all right there. It's all right there in those arrows. You can play lots of songs just by putting your fingers on those particular 
arrows in that order. So let's let's do that. You want to do that slow? That's sure, slow. let's okay. do it slow. So now that you've tuned up, so all of you playing together. Grab it in your left hand. Left hand, right hand, comfortable, relaxed. <sighs> <sighs> so we're going to start with the red, third finger on the red. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Now we're going to switch. Coming around the mountain when she comes. We're switching to the green. So we went from red. Let's get your red. <laughs> Some people are switching to red. Some are switching to purple. I made up my own color. Just kidding. Okay. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Back to red, then to yellow. Red, green, red. And that's all of it. You just do that over and over and over and over again. Lots so we're gonna do that slowly. So we're gonna go red, green, red, yellow, back. So starting with red, that's a C chord. She'll be coming around the mountain when she Just cover the colors and you just do it at a nice easy pace. Remember to breathe when you try oh, to sing. Breathing, yeah, it's important. Anything else? Uh, have fun, you guys. <laughs> and there's this cool little book inside the box that gives you some pointers. I don't know if you guys notice we're not using any kind of pick or plectrum and there's you know different people. I like to go like this and pretend I'm holding one and use my fingers the back of your finger. And so I hope you guys have a great time with this. And we'll try and do a new song each week. So work work through this, get comfortable with your ukulele, learn how to tune it this week, and uh, get used to seeing the colors green, yellow, red. Don't worry about the blue right now. We'll use that some other time. We'll use some other chords. But with those three chords, we can do a lot of different songs. And uh, we'll do an, at least a new song. We'll make a new video for you each week. And uh, when you learn along, then we'll have a big concert. There you go. But I want to do one more song that you guys work on because, you know, it was my birthday yesterday. Oh, yeah. And these are like birthday gifts from us to you guys because we love you so much and we love music and we want to be able to share it with you. So, you know, in the course of the week, you got coming around the mountain and happy birthday I want you to work on and to sing for me. You do that Coming same up. thing, C. Go ahead. You sing. <laughs> oh, great. This is my birthday. Oh, yeah. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. 